This is Ari. The unfortunate cat girl tasked with the impossible goal of fully completing Final Fantasy XIV. Over the next several thousands of hours, I will collect every single achievement, complete every new raid, and min-max every piece of content that the game throws at me. Can I create the strongest account ever? One thing we haven't really talked about yet on this series is our weekly Unreal Clears. Nothing really eventful happened, and all in all, it went pretty smooth. Examine, dude? What are you doing over there? Oh my god! <laughs> so that was a fucking lie. Hello and welcome everyone to the third episode in our series. I wanted to start things off by letting you guys know that we are going to start doing gill giveaways with each of these videos. To enter, all you have to do is comment below what your name in game is, as well as your server. And then at the end of every video each week, we will pull the winner and I will get you your gill. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like, it's not required. Um, just comment below in order to enter. To start this week, I want to talk about Unreals. Unreals are old trial content that get repurposed for level 90. Currently, we have the King Thornton fight, which was an extreme in Heaven's Ward, and we've been chipping away at different Heaven's Ward extremes throughout Endwalker, and during Shadowbringers, we were doing ARR extremes in Unreals. For doing these Unreals, one thing that is particularly effective is to use alts as an entire other character. I have not just one alt, not two, not three, but five alt characters. Now, I'm not that crazy. I don't actually do my unreels five times a week, but when I'm really feeling it, I would say there is some times where I do it two or three times a week, and it's pretty solid. The reason why I've been doing these is they give some particularly powerful rewards from a currency called Faux Leaves. It allows me to stock up on unlockables like minions and mounts, and if I run out of things to unlock on my main, then I just go ahead and sell them for anywhere between 6 to 12 million gil, depending on what I buy and how long it takes to sell. Despite how scuffed Unreals were this week with me getting killed, um, we were able to get the, the fox, as you guys saw, and we were able to purchase um, a pretty rare minion that I think is worth like 8 or 9 mil, but of course, since it's an account unlock, um, I did not sell it. We opted to just unlock it, and... Um, Hopefully, we'll be finished unlocking everything soon so we can start turning a profit again. I haven't been making money off of Unreal's this expansion that much because I've been kind of catching up on all of the items that I've been slacking on. So with Unreal's done, I've decided that it's time to get back into Heaven's Ward daily tribal quests. I've been neglecting them quite a lot, so it's time to start adding these back into my routine and so I can finally start crossing those off. I'm missing quite a few um, from ARR as well, so this is a bit of a backlogged problem on my account that I plan to remedy. Alright, so for the longest time I actually thought that this one was completely done. This is before I understood what Bloodsworn was at all, and the only reason I did this was for the dance, believe it or not. Now, as to why I wanted this dance, I'll leave that to your imagination. Huh? Well, it's been a long time coming, but we finally have our very first Heaven's Ward tribal quest line complete. Pretty sure there's a word um, or like an emote or something for doing all of them, but I'm not too sure. So nice. That's one blood sworn down. I've been kind of dragging my heels on the uh, the Heaven's Word um, tribal quests. So since we finished Vath, I figured we may as well start to get on top of the game and start doing these. Does anyone know why some of them give 50 and other tribes give like 60 or 70? Is it just some arbitrary difference or is there like anything you can do to influence that? Let me know. I'm going to have to be doing these for many more days, and I thought I was already done with them, but... Oh, well. How many does it give per? 50? 
Oof. Whatever. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly break down one of the daily activities that I do. Um, a lot of people do things like tribal quests, me included, where they're daily roulettes. But one of the more um, interesting things I have to do uh, every single day, it's, it's, it's a little tedious. I figured I'd break it down for y'all. Um, we have to do our grand company turnips. So how this works, some of you might already understand how overpowered of a leveling method this is. Um, what we need to do is go to our grand company and bring them a shopping list of items. Now, when you're leveling, this gives massive hits of XP. We're going to cover it in our leveling video that's coming out soon. Um, but when you're at max level, obviously you're not getting any experience for it. You're only getting seals. The problem is the achievements for these are quite excessive. Um, these supply missions are the ones that are crafted. Meanwhile, the provisioning missions are from gatherers. Now, this is a problem, obviously, because, you know, there's so many different items that can be in here. How can you do this efficiently, especially if I need to do a total of 600 gatherer turn-ins and 1,500 crafter turn-ins? This is including all three companies, by the way, because, by the way, you have to do it on all three companies. Let's go to the other one really quick. I'll show you. So I have never been Maelstrom yet. I'm going to soon. Um, here we go again, right here. Uh, provisioning missions, 200. 0 out of 200. So that's how we get our 600 and 1.5k value. So what is our system to deal with this? Well, I'm going to show you. Every day we go to our Chocobo saddlebag and it looks like there's a bunch of random crap in here, right? I've had people say, why do you have all that junk in there? I'll tell you why. Um, every item you see here is every possible component for every single item that they may ask of me. So what I do is every day, I take every single item out, and you can just leave it in your inventory if you so choose. But once you're max level, there is a specific pool of items that can be picked from, and that is contained. Now, granted, there's a lot of them, so it can get a little hectic. So what we do is we pull out all of those items specifically, and then some of them I have pre-crafted just because it's a pain to not do that. Um, so what I do is then I check which gatherable item it is. So today we have raw star quartz, uh, leaves, and then EBEs. So let's go grab those. Our star quartz is here. Leaves are here. And then our fish are over on this tab. And then for alchemy and culinary, and I actually have the foods pre-crafted just because the ingredients would be too much of a mess. I just make like a baseline amount of them. So as you see, my potions are running a little low. Um, and then just whatever it asks for me, I grab them from here. So we need Sycon salads, grab three of those. And then our potion, we do a quick check, vitality potions. And then there we go. And so now what we'll do is we will swap over to our crafter. I have the wrong UI on, let me fix that. Now, I already know that we have everything we need to craft these. I don't need to go hunt down any ingredients, none of that. We're just going to hit craft. Uh, I realistically should be doing this high quality, but just for the video's sake, we'll just quick craft it. And then, again, we're not even going to review the recipes. We're not going to even think about it. We're just going to go down that line. Because we know we already have every possible configuration of item, no matter what it asks. It only takes me about two or th two minutes, maybe three every day to do this, but this has been my way of combating the tedious nature of this achievement, just having everything all laid out in advance. <laughs> so I recommend if you are going for achievements yourself, you consider using this uh, method and just know that every expansion, the pool of items will continue to change. So in Dawn Trail, you know, three months from now, all the level 100 items is gonna have a new pool of things you might need. So I don't recommend buying all of this crap yet you only have about two or three months before all of this becomes redundant so that's my system uh we're gonna go ahead and get these all crafted and turned in all right ladies and gentlemen the time has come last week we took care of the leaves as well as unique crafts and our new list which i will show here yeah, we're going to have to go gather 900 olives, 
1,100 million corns. That's what they're called, million corns. Um, about 7,000 noble grapes. 3,000 rolling berries. About 2.4k birch sap. A little under 5k gem algae. And just under 2k giant hive chips. I'm also going to have to run my retainers as much as I can to get 34,000 fire shards. And what that is all going to accomplish is, as you can see above, that is my current progress on those quantity achievements. We're going to be making a lot of items. A lot. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to have that all done for this episode, but I'm going to do my damnedest to try. Let's begin. We have been here for hours. The next stage of our uh, process of gathering requires us to get 7,000 noble grapes. We just hit 5k, and uh, the plus side is once we are done with all 7,000 of these grapes, we only are 45% of the way done with our gathers, so happy days. All right, guys, just wanted to quickly uh, switch on a recording here and report that the Roland Berries are now done. We have 2,925 of them, and we are going to move on to the Birch Sap. All right, so we just got done gathering the first three or four items worth of things, but I figured it's time to actually start with the quantity crafts. So I'm going to spend the next half hour, however long it takes to... Make all of these olive oils. I have to make 223 of them, so I'll see you in a sec. And with that, first step is done. 300 crafts from 11 to 20. Okay, so for this next part, we have to craft a total of 721 things. Um, that's going to be a mix between grape juice as well as cornmeal. So I am now going to do all of that. Luckily, it's a one-button macro. I can just press... Uh, delicate synthesis and it's completely done but we're gonna have to do like 700 crafts so i'm gonna go ahead and get started okay so i just got done making like 1500 cornmeal so next we're gonna have to do let's see here 357 crafts worth of grape juice and then we'll be able to move on to the journeyman achievement um, which, weirdly enough, is also going to be using a whole bunch of grapes. So that's why we had to gather 7,000 of these. So let's get started on that one. Finished that round of crafts, and we got another achievement, getting 7 to 50 for 21 to 30. Uh, next up, we are going to keep on going, doing <laughs> 1,470 crafts for the journeyman uh, achieve. Let's get started. Quick update for y'all, um, we are now completely done with, where are they, <laughs> the dark vinegars and we were able to complete our 3000 crafts during that as well as the uh, 1500 crafts. Um, from here we still have quite a few left to go, um, let's pull it up here, yeah we've got to do our 41 to 50 as and that's actually going to give us a really big achievement which is right here. So we'll get plus 40, and then we'll need to um, get the rest of these. But we should be able to hopefully bust this out in the next day or two and uh, get our big payoff of achievements. Can someone tell me why this milk costed me 60k? And this time we're spending half a mil on milk. I just bought like 5,000 of these, so... I hope that this doesn't happen again in a future episode where I spend some ungodly amount on milk, but yeah, milk round two. So the reason why that we need 6,000 milk is because I'm going to spend the next few hours crafting around 3,000 Roland Berry cheese. I think it's safe to say at this point I'm going to be a Roland Berry cheese main. One eternity later. Okay. <laughs> the time has finally come. I just got done crafting. Holy. Oh, I did not expect it to be that much. I have almost 9,000 cheese in my inventory. Uh, luckily, the, the craft for making these has only been one button. I've been doing delicate synthesis. 
but we've <laughs> we finally hit the point where we're done with the the most egregious of the achievements which is 3041 through 50 crafts we need just one more and that is also going to complete a life of cooking so we're about to get a fat 40 xp drop um once that's done we just have three more and it's 1k a piece and i have a little bit of progress Ooh, this one is a lot um not too many crafts left here but let's go ahead and get that fatty proc where are you here we go Bakunga. there it is boys plus 40. that's what you like to see <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started on the next round but ooh, that is satisfying yeeshers all right, let's get started on the next round. Okay, second to last final craft. Uh, this one was a bit more annoying because I'm not allowed to just use uh, delicate synthesis anymore for high quality. I'm having to do two buttons every time, but all in all, still not a big deal. That should be achievement pop, very nice. And we have just one more to go. Well, technically two. Um, we'll have to make 364 level 71 to 80 recipes. And then as long as I make them high quality, um, eh, it looks like I'll need a few extra high quality crafts. 846. Not too bad. I'll uh, we'll probably just make some more like <laughs> rolling berry cheese or something. But we're getting there. All right. Final craft for 71 to 80. Two button macro. Pretty chill. And there it is. Saving the Realm Master. Um, last one that we've got to finish is just going to be the high quality crafts. Um, unfortunately, despite us finishing every uh, quantity achievement, uh, we still are short um, 482. So I'll just go pick some one button recipe and get that done. And then we are completely finished with Culinarian until it is time for Fernament. That's a long ways out, so we'll just do these HQ crafts and we're done. All right, boys, this is it. After this, we are officially done with culinary achievements. Let me pull it up. They're all done. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, let's go, dude, we're done. There it is. All that's left now is just uh, some uh, Skyward stuff, and then we have a Resplendent tool to do eventually, but Culinarian's done. We can start our Alchemist as soon as our leave allowances are back up. As you can see, we're still recovering from that. Um, we're only at 28. So I think what I'll do is once I hit 50, we'll be buying... Um, five of the big ones from Ishgard and then we'll uh, start saving again for the remaining or uh, the remaining 110 or so but um we're gonna head over to Gridania as it is time to finally complete our turn-ins uh we're gonna be able to finish our gathering turn-ins let's go Nice. Plus 20. We're finally done. <laughs> we finally did it. And the uh, the crafter ones are also getting close. Let's do a quick check. Um, yeah, so we need 46 more turn-ins. We get eight a day. And so that's a little bit less than a week or so. And then we'll have... Uh, Adder's completely done in that regard. Um, leave quests, on the other hand, these can be completed even when you're not affiliated with the company. Um, so the only other thing that we'd really need to take care of would be PvP. But it is not um, efficient for me to basically stay as an Adder while I'm like slowly doing PvP over the years. I'd rather just bop to all three uh, companies, get everything done, and then do front lines last. So... 
pretty good little milestone. Um, I'll probably do a quick little snippet on next week's video when we finish up the crafters and do our company swap. Um, haven't decided if I'm doing Maelstrom next or the uh, Immortal Flames, but we'll get that picked. And uh, it's important to note that um, whatever company I pick next will not actually be done by the time Dawn Trail comes out. Um, which is kind of unfortunate because it means that all of these items that I've been putting in here, um, they'll be rotating out, essentially, as level 91 through 100 things make their way into the pool. Um, but we can at least get a pretty good start on the next company, I would say. And so I will be not... Um, I'm not going to be getting any more of these items because we know that they're going to be on their way out. Whereas up until this point, I've been like refreshing and restocking and I'm going to stop restocking because uh, all this stuff is going to be irrelevant soon. But we have a solid, you know, two months and change to keep doing this. So we'll keep doing that. Um, in the meantime, I don't have to do any more gatherer turn-ins until we company swap. So until then, we'll just be doing our crafts and that'll be that. So regarding Mount Rokan Savage, I have some fantastic news. Um, all in all, our group hasn't really been able to meet any more than one time a week for like two hours, like I had mentioned. But because we've got so close on Tuesday and we just really needed to sit down and just get it done over a long boot camp type of day, uh, we decided to set some time aside. And on Thursday, we sat down with intent to do this for five to six hours if needed. And after about three hours, we did manage to pick up our clear. Um, all in all, I would say Rokon would be... I would say it's a little tougher than Allow Island Savage. Mostly just because of how many different variations there are of mechanics that you learn. Um, you know, if you learn a mechanic and it's fundamentals, that's great and all. But there's could be anywhere from like four, five, six patterns, depending on what you get. Um, luckily, the final boss... Um, the different types of patterns don't really matter too much. For me, it was mostly the first boss, how one mechanic with the clouds could change so drastically with how you dodge it, where you start, and there was several of those types of mechanics that completely change upon themselves based on, you know, which pattern you got. Um, we have one more to do. Uh, we're going to be starting next Tuesday. It is actually the very first Criterion dungeon that they released, so we haven't really been getting any cool rewards or anything but after we get the next clear we are good to move on to epic hero and i figured i would show you guys uh the final moments of our clear run that thing that put you down to 2k hit through a shield caracole and wrench yeah i think we gotta oh, be careful with those now in front mm -hmm. Stay. Stay. Outright. Stay and then outright. Staying. Outright. Another round. And left. Outright. Outstay. Okay, we're staying here. Let me outright and then stay. Outstay. Buster. Out. Spread first. Spread. DPS. DPS. Northeast. Stacking. Double knitting. I battle for this. Oh, my, I think my double net will carry over. 
do not use twos. Regular. Pink out. My team is front. Out, Ben. Out. It's in front. Shoot, I did not give us a lot of room, Marcus. Uh, okay. Try and get up against the wall, then. Right, good job. Take a breath. Same teams. You're rotating. Yep. Pink out. In front again. I'm not looking. We're right. Thank you. Get up a swim room. Sorry, I'm focusing so hard in on making sure people just can't It's okay. Front. It's okay. In front. In front. Get ready for big damn, big damn. Thoughts. I have nothing. No mit. I gave all that I had. Okay, good job. This is inside hitbox. Okay. It'll be, we'll be on Bravo side after, is that correct? Yeah. Correct. Correct. I'll be popping it as soon as Inside. the first preview happens. Thank you. Double diagonal. In left. Out back. Out say. In stay. In stay. Out. In, In. stay. All right. Tactician. Saving wrench. Thank you. I'll be putting out Penheima here. Looking for the sir. Soldiers. Farmers. Scholars. He's in the A file, Marcus. Me, Charlie. Yep. He is long. We are at Delta. I'm right. I'm left. Make sure you're far enough away from me. I'm okay. I'll fix. I'll fix. Sorry. Okay. So far. Last target. No. Out back. Out. Out back. Back. In right. In left. In left. In right. In left. Left. Two minute burst. Damage. Or uh, raid wide. Uh, branch. Tank buster. Robot coming out. I have everything for this. Front, that's a cone. That's a cone. Make sure we're not on that. Oh. Damage. I have a I have barrier. Have. Barrier. No, barrier. Everything you have. Everything you have. Everything you have. I've tacked. There's another one. There's not. Next is Enrage. Addles in. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Map achievements have been the bane of my existence in this game. Specifically, Luckiest of Ladies. Although there are some honorable mentions, such as the Alpus maps and the Shadowbringers maps that have been awful. For those that don't know, when you're doing Shadowbringers maps, there is a 75% chance that you get the Spinny Dungeon, which is called a Roulette, and there's a 25% chance that you get the Doors Dungeon. I have had my 20 Spinny Clears for quite a while, and I've been on 18 out of 20 Door Clears for as long as I can remember. Uh, luckily, this last home event that came out, I spammed Rival Wings for about 600 wins, and so I still have a solid three to four k tomes that i've been purchasing these special little maps they're called ostensibly special time-worn maps the reason why these are significant is whenever you open one they are a zone your skin map that is a 100 percent chance to give you a portal whereas the standard zone your skin map is a 50 50. if we do some simple math 50 50 means one in eight zone your skin maps will be a doors dungeon Whereas with these ostensibly special maps, it is a 1 in 4. Much better odds, but unfortunately we've still been unlucky. 
Um, so hopefully we can bang out a clear. I only need two more and then we can finally be done with treasure maps. We still have the Aquapolis dungeon to do at some point, which is actually Heaven's Ward, but Aquapolis has a very forgiving clear rate. I'm not even worried about it a little bit. That's going to be perfectly fine. This, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is that one in four dungeon I talked about. The Doors dungeon. I need two more clears of this thing, and every time we go in here, I keep getting kicked out. I have a tracker. I'm at over 25 sightings of this dungeon in a row without a clear, which is pretty low. Normally, these dungeons are around 6 to 7%, which means anywhere from like 13, 14 runs, you should start seeing a clear, but we're pretty much doubling that. So we are standard deviation dodgers, my friends. Hopefully we get it soon. I wanted to thank you all so much for watching. Um, thank you again for everyone that is engaging with the video, whether you're commenting, liking, uh, subscribing, all of that really does help. Um, members of the channel, you have my gratitude. It does allow uh, me and Victoria to keep continuing on with this content dream. Uh, we also stream full-time on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash Effect. Would love to see you over there while we're doing some of our achievement hunting pursuits. And lastly, I just wanted to say, Normally, we're going to have a giveaway at the end of each video, and that will begin on the next episode. So if you want to join that giveaway, plop your name down below, server, and you're good. And we'll pull that winner next week. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.